First at six, a decommissioned wood treatment facility continues to impact the health of neighbors in northwest Springfield more than a decade after it shut down. And right now, a meeting is underway at the Kerr-McGee facility, which released chemical preservatives that are linked to cancer. Color 10 Cindy Moran joins us live in Springfield tonight, sharing updates on the cleanup efforts and the harmful impacts on residents in the area. Sydney. This meeting is packed. There are still a few people filing in. We actually had to step outside because there are just so many homeowners here hoping to voice their frustrations and concerns. The Multi-State Environmental Trust is currently digging up yards looking for places that they believe have some contamination. And for one woman who's lived in her home for over 40 years, she says it's too late. Burnt tar or something, it was a ter it's a terrible smell. It's a smell June Smith will never forget. The smell of chemical preservatives leaking into her backyard. Every Friday night, they release the creosote, and I have a ditch out there in the back, and it smelled so bad you could not be outside. It would burn your eyes, it would hurt so bad. Although that smell is gone, the impact from Kerr-McGee Wood Treatment Facility is still there. There's two more places out here. The Multi-State Environmental Trust Agency is digging up Smith's yard looking for a creosote as she lives just feet away from the decommissioned facility. And those are chemicals that are considered carcinogenic chemicals or chemicals that um, have the potential right to cause cancer. For Smith, cancer is something she knows too well. Everybody in this neighborhood has died of cancer. I can take you from house to house. My husband died, so it's very much bad stuff. It's a result of Kerr McGee. Now crews are looking at seven houses between North Fulbright and Clifton Avenue where they believe the soil is contaminated. If those results come back above these protective levels of these levels of protective of human health, um, we will move forward with removing soils from those yards backfilling with clean soil and then restoring the landscaping. They just finished yesterday digging in my backyard. And what did they find? They won't tell me. <laughs> now Smith will wait for answers as she thinks about what could have happened if action was taken earlier. It's too late. Tonight's meeting will is scheduled to run until 730 for neighbors looking for cleanup efforts. They can head online to Greenfield Springfield reporting in Springfield. Cindy Moran, Ozarks first.